Titian was one of the most influential and versatile painters of the Italian Renaissance. He is widely admired for his mastery of color, light, and composition, as well as his ability to depict a wide range of subjects, from portraits and landscapes to religious and mythological scenes. In this video we will explore some of the fascinating anecdotes about his life and his paintings that reveal his artistic genius and his passion for mythology. Titian was born around 1488 in Pieve di Cador, a small town in the Venetian Alps. He moved to Venice at a young age and became an apprentice of the painter Giovanni Bellini, who introduced him to the rich colors and luminous effects of Venetian painting. Titian soon developed his own style, characterized by a vibrant use of color and a dynamic sense of movement. He also became friends with other prominent artists of his time, such as Giorgione, Raphael, and Michelangelo. Titian was oftentimes considered as a sun amidst small stars not only among the Italians but all the painters of the world, and his magic still does exist in the reality he created on canvas. He was one of the few artists of the Renaissance that bridged the centuries between the masters of the High Renaissance and the great painters of the Baroque period. Titian had a special interest in mythology and classical literature. He painted many scenes from Greek and Roman myths, often with erotic and sensual undertones. He used mythology as a way to express his own emotions and fantasies, as well as to explore the themes of love, beauty, power, and death. Some of his most famous mythological paintings are Venus of Urbino, Bacchus and Ariadne, Danae, The Rape of Europa, and The Death of Actaeon. One of the anecdotes that illustrates Titian's fascination with mythology is his relationship with Orazio Vecellio, his son and assistant. Orazio was named after the ancient poet Horace, who was one of Titian's favorite authors. Titian often read Horace's poems to Orazio and taught him about the myths and legends that inspired his paintings. Orazio became a skilled painter himself and helped Titian with many of his works. Another anecdote that shows Titian's passion for mythology is his involvement in the Poesy series, a set of six paintings based on Ovid's metamorphoses that he made for King Philip II of Spain. These paintings depict some of the most dramatic transformations in Ovid's stories, such as Diana and Actaeon, Perseus and Andromeda, and Venus and Adonis. Titian considered these paintings as his personal masterpieces and spent more than a decade working on them. He even kept one of them, The Rape of Europa, in his studio until his death. Titian was fascinated by the stories of the Titans, the ancient Greek gods who ruled the world before the Olympians. He painted several scenes from their myths, showing their power, passion, and beauty. One of his most famous works is The Fall of the Titans, a dramatic depiction of the war between the Titans and the Olympians, in which Zeus and his allies hurl thunderbolts and rocks at their enemies, who fall into the abyss of Tartarus. Titian used vivid colors and dynamic brushstrokes to create a sense of movement and chaos, contrasting the bright sky with the dark pit. Another mythological painting by Titian is The Rape of Europa, which shows how Zeus, disguised as a white bull, abducted the princess Europa and carried her across the sea to Crete. Titian captured the moment when Europa realizes her danger and clings to the bull's horn, while her companions on the shore watch in horror. The painting is full of symbolism and eroticism, as the bull represents Zeus's lust and power, while Europa's red cloak suggests her passion and blood. The landscape in the background is serene and idyllic, contrasting with the drama in the foreground. Titian also painted several portraits of Venus, the goddess of love and beauty, who was born from the foam of the sea after Cronus castrated his father Uranus and threw his genitals into the ocean. In one of his most famous paintings, Venus of Urbino, Titian depicted Venus as a nude woman reclining on a bed, looking at the viewer with a seductive gaze. She holds a bouquet of roses in her hand and a small dog sleeps at her feet. The painting is considered a masterpiece of Renaissance art, as it combines realism and idealism, sensuality and elegance, intimacy and mystery. 
Another example of a shocking interpretation of Titian's paintings is that they contain hidden messages and symbols related to alchemy and occultism. For instance, some scholars have suggested that his Bacchus and Ariadne, 1520-1523, is not just a mythological scene, but a representation of the stages of alchemical transformation. They claim that the figures of Bacchus and Ariadne symbolize the union of opposites, male and female, sun and moon, gold and silver, while the animals and plants in the painting correspond to different elements and substances used in alchemy. According to this interpretation, Titian's painting is not a simple depiction of a classical story, but a complex allegory of esoteric knowledge and secret practices. A fourth example of a shocking interpretation of Titian's paintings is that they reflect his personal life and psychological state. For example, some biographers have speculated that his flaying of Marcius, 1570-1576, is not only a representation of a mythological punishment, but also a projection of his own fear of death and suffering. They argue that Titian identified himself with Marcius, the satyr who was skinned alive by Apollo for challenging him in a musical contest, and that he painted this scene as a way of expressing his anguish and despair in his old age. According to this interpretation, Titian's painting is not a mere illustration of a legend, but a powerful expression of his emotions and feelings. Titian's influence on the art world continues to exist today. His extraordinary ability to capture the essence of life, emotion, and movement on canvas made him a standout artist of his time. He was an innovative painter who revolutionized the art world through his unique approach to oil painting. His vivid use of color and mastery of light and shadow brought his canvases to life and left a lasting impact on future generations of artists. His works became synonymous with the Venetian school of painting and greatly contributed to the development of oil painting techniques. Despite being a highly respected painter during the Renaissance, Titian's work continued to grow in popularity well after his death and is still celebrated in our modern age as a representation of artistry at its finest. His art continues to inspire contemporary art and aspiring artists alike, making him a true genius with an enduring legacy. Titian died in 1576 at the age of 88, after a long and productive career. He was buried in the Frari Church in Venice, where he had painted one of his most famous altarpieces, The Assumption of the Virgin. He left behind a legacy of hundreds of paintings that influenced generations of artists and changed the course of art history. He was truly a titan of painting and a lover of mythology. If you're enjoying the content so far, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when we upload new videos, and you'll never miss out. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. It really helps out and lets us know that you're enjoying the content. And if you think this video would be helpful or entertaining for someone else, please share it with them. Finally, make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Hitting the bell ensures that you'll always be notified when we upload new content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.